New year, new me. New year, new me. What's going on, guys? I don't normally do first impression videos. Y'all know damn well I don't normally do no first impressions, no no reactions, no no reviews. That ain't me. That ain't what I do on this Apex Gamer channel. This is Brian. You know me. You know I'm your dedicated host, always bringing you the most, doing what I can to be a ghost and not be a, a friend with the froze. Uh, you know, I, I lost a rhyme there. I lost a rhyme. But the point is, I'm trying to tell you, I don't normally do no reaction videos, no, no, no review videos, no first impressions. But... I spent money, so I feel like I'm at a loss. L you feel me? I spent money, so I feel like I gotta say something. I, I, I can't just I can't just let this one ride. I gotta say something. So, as you know, Dragon Ball Fighters is coming out on the 26th. People are excited. People love it. Arc System Works worked on this game. Same people that make Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue. I should have used that as an indicator to let me know if I wanted to buy the game or not. I don't play Blaze Blue or Guilty Gear, but I wanted to give it a chance because it's Dragon Ball Z. I've loved Dragon Ball Z since I was a little kid. I used to download the episodes in Japanese back in 2000. You feel me? Back in like 98, 2000 on dial up. I used to download Japanese episodes just so I can stay up to date. I didn't want to miss nothing. I wanted to see it all. Before people in America could see it, I had to see it all. I had people, I knew people that was talking about the Boo Saga back when I was in like the third grade. So I, it was no way I was about to let these dudes know more about Dragon Ball Z than me. So I had to download the Japanese episodes, I had to get on it. So I, I felt like I was going to give this game a shot. Give this game a fair shake. I paid for the damn thing, waiting on the pre order. You know, the game come out on the 26th. I could cancel it. Uh, you know, I'm still on the fence, you know, so I'm just gonna go ahead. I think I'm gonna let it ride out because I already made the decision, I already spent the money, so I'm gonna let it ride out. But I'm gonna give you my first impressions on the beta in this gameplay. I'm playing as uh, a team of, I think, I think I was Android 18 Beerus and Goku. Uh, both of these games that I uploaded, I won. I'm Apex Gamer, uh, Apex, Apex Fat Boo on that game, you know, Apex Fat Boo, Majin Boo, that's my belly. But uh, both of these videos that I uploaded are wins. I think actually all four fights in these videos I won. So, whatever. But I'm uploading this to show you that I was playing the game, trying to get a feel for it, trying to understand it, trying to learn it. So, what what happened? What happened in my head is, in my head, I thought I was buying like a new fighting game similar to Street Fighter, similar to similar to you know King of Fighters, you know, something like that, but with Dragon Ball Z characters. And what I actually got was a little bit different. And and it, it I don't know if it's necessarily good, bad, and different, but. For me, when I first started playing it, I felt I felt kind of I felt, felt kind of slighted. I felt kind of cheated. I felt like the game was was just not what not what I wanted it to be, and I wasn't excited about that change. I didn't feel like it was something I was uh, something I would just adapt to and get used to. So I, you know, I talked to a couple people who are actually very excited about the game, and and they gave me some different information. And the different information kind of helps kind of helps me to want to just allow the game allow myself to pick up the game on the 26 and then get into it and dive deep. And if I and, and dive deep, and once I get past you know that initial the initial onion layers, I'm hoping that you know it's something that I feel like I could play for a long amount of time and really enjoy. I'm really not big on the tag games. I don't play Marvel vs. Capcom. I did back in the day, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on a Dreamcast. I played it, but I wasn't like playing it to get competition good or playing it to you know back then there wasn't no online play i mean it might have been on a dreamcast but there wasn't like it wasn't a thing it wasn't a thing that everybody was doing was playing the game online against people you learn the game to play against your friends but nobody else i knew played that type of game so it was either tekken uh so caliber or mortal kombat so it really like i said it was a lost cause so i lost interest in that style of game i lost interest in playing them three on three fighters and, and that type of thing because everybody was playing the one-on-one -on -one fighters even tech and tag was two on two but we still played the one-on-one -on -one mode so you know it's it's just not my, my not my forte but my my real gripe with this game is that while i was expecting the game to be technical and when i was expecting the game to have like this high level of skill required to play it and and uh, and not very you know uh I saw the combos that people were doing in combo videos from the beta originally, the first beta, and I was like, man, these dudes are wrecking. I was like, these dudes are doing three string combos, launching, following them to the air with a chase and hitting them with some three strings, knock them down, come out high on the way out. Man, I was thinking that they was doing some stuff. You know, I was thinking they was 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 square triangle down four square to launch back square back triangle. You know, I thought they was doing some stuff. But realistically, what was happening was I was seeing a lot of the simple one button combinations. And the game has one button combos, and some of the one button combos have mix ups, and some of the one button combos have cross ups, like mix ups, cross ups. That's in one button combination. Like if it's happening in just three button presses, square, 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 you crossed up an opponent, pass underneath them, and hit it from the other side. Like you know how hard it is to block when somebody crosses up, and like a cross up in, in, in Street Fighter is a big deal. 
like a combo that has cross up or you cross up with a jump kick over their head you know that's a big deal because that sets up combo resets and it's just a much more technical layer to to these arcade fighting games and that's a system i was thinking i was seeing when i was watching these combo videos but realistically i was just seeing someone press one button and as you see right there the way i just beat that the way i just beat that person i was hitting two buttons i was pressing r1 uh yeah r1 the dragon rush circle the heavy heavy him off the wall r1 hit him circle him off the wall r1 to hit him and i mean of course that might work against somebody low level that might work against some some newbie but the fact that that worked at all just threw me for loops so i was like dying laughing because i was like man this is crazy it's crazy that this game is so simple to get into so that's why i said i, I got out there in the community and talked to a couple people and they were telling me about manual combos versus auto combos and they explained the whole nine yards to me show me some mix-ups show me some cool things that krillin can do some cool stuff like that so i saw some cool videos and some cool stuff so it's kind of like piqued my interest i'm a little bit more excited to even get it but i was you know my initial excitement went down as soon as i played the beta first couple matches i was like oh no oh no this is a negative i was like this is a this is a bust you know there's a waste of time all these youtubers and all these people talking it up <sighs> all these youtubers talking it up man y'all talked it up all the way and then y'all made me feel like it was gonna be a good confident game look at me i'm doing it again heavy heavy and then uh dragon rush heavy dragon rush rush him to the corner look he, he got out of it there this player was a little hip to it but i hit him with a little one button combination hit him with the dragon rush heavy dragon rush here you go heavy dragon rush i told somebody i was gonna upload this heavy dragon rush just running it over and over like the fact that i can do this at all it's taking a lot of damage but it's not taking that much damage all at the same time but look i put this guy in such a bad situation that he had no options i mean he could have from what I hear, the Dragon Rush is incredibly punishable. From what I saw, the Dragon Rush was incredibly powerful. And it's one button. That home and attack is one button. Like if that was down forward R1 or or forward down forward R1 Dragon Punch or or even back back down back down down forward forward like a full semicircle. If that was anything other than just R1, I wouldn't have any gripe with it because it would take a little bit of execution. It would take some actual time and then your fingers would have to do the right thing and it was a chance you could mess up. But ain't no chance you can mess up. You just press one button, you can dragon rush. I mean, like I said, some people say it's punishable. I didn't see that in the beta. I mean, I didn't see that at the low level. I played a couple guys who had higher rankings, and they did block it sometimes. But then they, they would do it back to me. And when they did it back to me, they would just run combos on me. And it was like, okay, that's cool. You, you did that. That's cool. So like, like I'm saying, my initial impression of this game is that it's a little too simple. It's a little too easy. Uh, the, the, the high level players will get good at it and they will understand it better and they will do better things than the low level player like I saw Maximilian do uh, some combos when he took him up in the air and then he did an assist with the super like I saw that video today and I thought okay that's that's kind of nice it's kind of nice it's kind of peaking my interest keeping me excited about the game at least you know to some very like very easy level and then i saw a lot of people doing some things with beerus that i wasn't able to do like they were throwing up that little purple ball that i just threw up and then kicking it and doing all types of stuff so there's different things you can do but i'm just hoping that the simplicity of the game and the simplicity of the controls really warrants players to learn and and do these different things because if those things aren't like if it isn't beneficial to be doing all this high level tech versus someone who's just dragon rushing you know i mean like, I just don't want to be in a situation where I'm getting dragon rushed like crazy while I'm trying to set up these more intense combinations, looking for mix ups and trying to punish, and somebody just dragon rushing. Like I just did him there. Did the same thing to him. Heavy dragon rush. Heavy dragon rush. I, I just don't want to run into a situation where, where the game was like that. And I ran into a guy who was running those easy combos over and over and over, and I couldn't do anything to his easy combo. I would block his dragon rush, and he was just square, 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 square. You know, once he hit the three squares, launched me in the air, three squares on the way down, and he was just doing it over and over. And then I fought a couple guys who was zoning with gohan they would shoot a masinko all the way across the screen and then dragon rush when i tried to jump over the masinko and then just doing the same thing like it looks like the, the way to be cheap in this game is like there's too many ways to be cheap and too it's too easy for people to get into it so people are just gonna get into it and and like the lowest common denominator of players are gonna get behind this game and really get in it and really make ranked and and, and quick match assess pool so I know it's got a new Dragon Ball Z story that I'm excited about. It's completely different. It's detached from the uh, Dragon Ball Z lore. It's got a new character in it and everything. So I'm super excited for that story mode. I want to see what, what happens in it. I hope it's well put together. I mean, the game has some wrinkles to it that are just like crazy, like some Easter eggs to some fights, some some battle finishes, like the Cell versus Gohan, one, uh, one hand Kamehameha. There is like a big like cinematic easter egg for that there's a big cinematic easter egg for frieza when frieza meets goku and he goes super saiyan for the first time so they really did they really did some cool things with dragon ball z and really trying to bring 
like you know the nostalgia out of you with dragon ball z really trying to show you moments that you remember and do it well and that's something video, like a lot of video games when they're a new entry especially a new type of game for the entry that's one thing they always miss the mark on they don't they don't bring you the experience from the show they don't bring you the experience from the from the thing you you, you know the source material they don't bring that experience and i feel like this game is bringing that experience so that's the type of stuff that's keeping me hanging on by the thread you know but like like i said i'm gonna go ahead and pick the game up on the 26 i already paid for the damn thing so i don't really got much of a choice i'm gonna pick it up on the 26 i'm gonna do my best to learn it i'm gonna play the story mode i'm gonna try to enjoy it I might, I might, if when I upload some videos, like my first couple videos of, of uploading this game, when I actually have it in my hands, the physical copy, I'm gonna be the most, I'm gonna be the telling part. That's gonna be the true, the true determining factor of whether or not I think it's a good enough game to keep for the long haul. But that's gonna be the true determining factor, cause like the beta didn't really, didn't really tip, it tipped my scales the other way. I was incredibly excited. I was super hyped up, pumped up, been talking about it for months, been ready for it for months, been talking about it pretty much all year since I heard about it, since I saw my first little glimpse of it. I was like, man, that is going to be hype. I can't wait. I love 2D fighters and I love Dragon Ball Z, so it's going to be a match made in heaven. I can't wait. So I was hyped. And then I played it and I was like, mm -hmm. my hype kind of dwindled a little bit. It kind of wavered, you know, my, my faith in the, in the game kind of wavered. But it, <laughs> I should have kind of came in with lower expectations knowing that I really don't mess with Arc System Works games typically. Like I've only played Guilty Gear a handful of times and I've never played Blaze Blue. And that's all for, that's, that's all, you know, that's not by accident, that's by complete choice. Like I, I didn't pick up them games on purpose. Like I got a friend who plays all them games exclusively. He plays a lot of those Japanese fighting games plays any fighting game you've ever seen it's on his channel his name is Derek D game turner 1985 look him up on YouTube he got gameplays of blaze blue gameplays of uh, uh, guilty gear all that stuff he played these games and he wasn't even feeling this game so let's be frank if people that play ARP system work games still ain't having a good time with it and still taking a little adjusting to it's gonna be a rough area but like i said it's been brian day Pace gaming channel hope you enjoyed the video hope you uh enjoyed the gameplays i wrecked some people in this game i did a lot of damage made it look easy because it was easy i was pressing just random buttons so it's like got super low ceiling for players to just jump in and kind of get their feet wet so i don't know like i said man i'm feeling a little down on it i'm not feeling i'm not not as hype as i was before but i'm still gonna get it because i already paid for it but we'll see how that goes I, you know, I'm not really a big fan of, uh, of putting things out there in the world like that. I'm not really a big fan of putting negative energy out there towards video game developers. Cause I know the struggle, but we'll see how I feel about the game once I actually got it in my house and I'm actually playing it on a regular basis. So, but until then, it's been Brian the Apex Gaming Channel. Hope you guys enjoyed it and see you on the next one. Peace out.